Republican Lindsey Graham again called on the White House to give Kyiv the go-ahead to use long-range weapons against Ukraine. The Republican senator stressed that Zelensky's winning plan is to bring Putin to the negotiating table. This can only be done if Kyiv hits Russia harder than it does today. Graham said that Zelensky has repeatedly asked the White House to give the go-ahead for the use of long-range weapons, the Voice of America reports. Graham believes Zelensky's words that if Kyiv bombs all military warehouses and air bases on Russian territory, Putin will have to sit down at the negotiating table. If Biden continues to remain silent, Russia will increase its weapons production every day. Ultimately, such actions will only benefit Russia. The senator also stated that the future U.S. president should also allow Ukraine to strike Russia with long-range weapons. If Kiev gets the green light, the war could end in 2025, the Republican is sure. If the U.S. leader allows Zelensky to implement all his plans, then there is great hope that the war will end in 2025. At the same time, the West should not allow Putin to influence the politics of this war with his nuclear threats. Putin threatens every time the West provides new military aid to Ukraine. That is why Ukraine has every right to strike military targets on Russian territory with long-range weapons. If Kyiv is constantly restrained, then expect defeat, Graham said. Ukraine should be given the go-ahead to strike at Russian territory so that the conflict can be resolved diplomatically. At the same time, the future US president will have all the Trump cards in his hands to put an end to the war. Recently, Biden received Zelensky in the Oval Office and said that Putin will not win this war. The United States plans to provide Ukraine with a record $8 billion worth of American-made weapons. This should be one of Ukraine's largest military benefits from the United States during the war with Russia. The deployment of aid was preceded by a complex policy. When the U.S. Congress finally approved $61 billion in further aid to Ukraine in April, the administration quickly began spending the most flexible money under that funding. Successive batches of aid included urgently needed artillery, ammunition and air defense missiles. Flexible money falls under the Presidential Drawdown Authority or PDA. This spending capability allows the president to send surplus U.S. military systems to an ally country in the short term, but only if the president notifies Congress and then replaces the shipped weapons with new weapons paid for with PDA funds. Artillery units in the Ukrainian city of Pokrovsk are aiming to destroy Russia's weapons and supply routes as the strategic city continues to be shelled by enemy forces. The commander of Artillery Battery, 15th Brigade, Danilo told British broadcaster Sky News that the city was becoming increasingly difficult to defend as the enemy increases their production every day. Russia's forces are seeking to advance into the city, given that it is an important supply hub for Ukrainian forces, according to reports. Homes and buildings in the city have been destroyed, and some left derelict. Resident Hanna told Sky that it felt like people don't matter to anyone and that the fighting had turned Pokrovsk into a dead city. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky met President Joe Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris in Washington on Thursday. The talks were part of Zelensky's push to get the U.S. to allow his troops to use long-range weapons to strike deeper into Russia. But the Kremlin sent a strong, new warning to the West this week. President Vladimir Putin said that any nation's conventional attack on Russia that was supported by a nuclear power would be considered a joint attack on his country. Стався вчора о 5 годині вечора. У нас після цього було зруйноване помешкання людей. Вчора наша автівка загнала ворожу обстрілу. В неї потрапила ворожа так званий FPV-дрон. Але на щастя наші рятувальники залишились цілими.
Мы никому не нужны. Никому люди не нужны. Сколько нас тут осталось? Мертвый город сработали. Противник здійснює кожного дня нарощування певних, певної продукції, наприклад, це боєприпасів, FPV, щоб ми так само могли знищувати це все.